so I just finished this tutorial and it is inspired by a Pretty Little Liars character and she just so happens to be my favorite and that is Aria. I love Aria. I love her fashion. I love her personality. I love her makeup. And so today this tutorial is inspired by Aria Montgomery's makeup on Pretty Little Liars. So basically I find that her makeup just consists of very neutral colors but lots of liner and um, just a pop of color here and there. Very bronzy, warm skin. And then sometimes she'll do like a neutral lip, but I find that a lot of times she'll do like a darker lip. So I do the more of like a purple lip. So you can kind of do whatever you want um, because the eyes are so neutral. And I just really like this look. I also wanted to do it because I feel like it's really wearable for the fall time, which fall is right around the corner. And so I think this is something that's really beautiful. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not going to go on and talking too much, but um, I'm really excited. And I'm kind of surprised I haven't done a Pretty Little Liars tutorial earlier because I'm obsessed with the show. And if you guys are interested in seeing me like vlog about the show, comment below because I'm kind of thinking about it because I'm obsessed and I want to know what you guys think. So um, yeah, let's get into this tutorial. Alright, so to start this look off, I'm going to be taking a white base. This one's from NYX. And I'm just going to start by applying this all over the lid of my eye. And I'm going to be using this just so that the colors appear um, more brighter and they stand out a bit better. So just apply this all over your lid and bring it into your inner corner a bit too. And that's really going to brighten up your eye. And then you can take whatever is left over and just kind of wash it up onto your brow bone. But again, this is just really going to make the colors pop. Okay, so I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics 88 Shimmer Palette. I haven't used this in a really long, long time. So I'm going to start off with this light shimmery kind of this light shimmery tan base color and we're going to place this all over the lid of our eye so I'm just going to place this all over the lid of our eye and don't bring it up okay next I'm going to take the last color in the first row which is like a more darker bronzy color and I'm going to be placing this on the outer half of the lid and it's just going to add a bit more bronziness and darkness Alright, next I'm going to be picking up an angled shadow brush and I'm going to be going into this color right here, which is in the second to last row and it's the second to last color. And I'm just going to apply this into the outer half of the lid. And then again, it's just going to add warmness to the lid and just darken it up a bit. Okay, then I'm going to take a crease brush and I'm just going to kind of blend out that dark color we just applied just so that it's not so harsh. Let's just take a clean crease brush. And then I'm just going to take a highlight color and just highlight my brow bone and then the inner corner of my eyes. This is really going to brighten your eyes up so you look awake. Okay, this next step is optional, but I think it really adds a beautiful pop of color to the lid. So I'm going to be taking a um, liner brush, something like this, and I'm going to be going into this beautiful kind of this color right here, I think it's really beautiful and it's just going to add a pop of color to our eyes. So I'm just going to take that and apply that on the lower lash line. You don't have to use this color, but I just think it goes really well with the array of colors that we use on our lid. I'm going to rim my waterline with a black liner. This one is from the drugstore actually. This is the... It's like almost gone, but it's from like L'Oreal and it works really well. Okay, now I'm going to be using my favorite felt tip liner from the drugstore. This is the Almay one. And it's just a black felt tip. And I'm just going to create a pretty thick line and wing it out a bit. You don't have to. You can skip the step if you want to wear this like school or something more wearable. But this is just going to add, um, add some drama to the look.
Okay, and then to finish off this look, we're going to curl our lashes and apply your favorite mascara. I'm going to be applying the Full and Soft Mascara by Maybelline. I really like this. I like the um, length that it gives my lashes, so I'm just going to apply a coat of that. And again, I just really like the way it lengthens my lashes, this mascara. Okay, and then this is optional, but I'm going to apply a little bit of what's left over on the brush to my lower lashes, and this is just going to really complete the look. Okay, and then for the cheeks, I'm going to be applying my Dior um, Array of Color Palette in Core, no, what is this in? In Spicy Desert, and I'm just going to take a really big fluffy brush, even though I have some on already, I'm just going to reapply some. I'm just taking a big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to mix the colors together lightly, and just smile and apply this to my cheeks. And it just gives a really beautiful glow to the skin. I put a little too much on, but... Alright, and then for lips, you can do whatever color you want because it is so natural, but I want to play it up with a little bit more of a color, and this is a great fall color. I hate to say it, but fall is coming up. So this one's from Dior, and this is in the color 881 Fashion Week. I think this is a limited edition from last year. I might be wrong, but it's basically like a beautiful like purple color with some big chunks of glitter. So I'm just going to apply this to my lips, and yeah. What I really like about the Dior lipsticks is the formulation is that it has like a glossy finish so you don't need a gloss um, which is really nice as you can tell it's really really glossy and um, I hope you guys enjoy this look. I know I'm like really zoomed in right now. I'm really sorry and um, yeah.